Hey there guys, it's Delstuver9 here with a tutorial on how to install Mod Loader for Minecraft 1.4.5. Now the first thing you are going to need is either 7-Zip or WinRAR, and I'm leaving links in the description so you can download either one of those. And then you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and you want to click Options, then click Force Update, then click Done and click login and this will ensure that you have a new minecraft.jar and it gets rid of all your mods and also that you have minecraft 1.4.5 now once that is done you want to quit the game and then open up your web browser and go to the mod loader thread and you want to scroll down and find mod loader 1.4.5 and you can either support the developer through adfly or you can download it directly and then you want to save it on your desktop and once you've done that, you can go to your desktop, and you can see I have it right here. Then you're going to right-click it and click Extract All. Then make sure Show Extracted Files When Complete is selected, and click Extract. Now, if you didn't have that option, you can open up the zip folder and click Extract All Files here, and it will do the same thing. Now, what you're going to do is you want to go to your Start menu and type in percent %app data percent and click Roaming. Then go into your .minecraft folder, then if you have a mods folder in your .minecraft folder, you want to delete it. Uh, otherwise, you don't need to do anything with that. And then you want to go into your bin folder and find your minecraft.jar. It should just say Minecraft. Now, if you have 7-zip, you want to right-click it and click 7-zip, then open archive. And if you have WinRAR, it'll be on this main menu and just click open archive. Now, if you don't have either of those options, if you have 7-zip, go to your start menu and type in 7-zip and open it there. If you have WinRAR, just type in WinRAR and open the program manually. Now you want to navigate to your users folder, uh, so that just depends on where it is. It's probably in your main drive or uh, whichever drive your users folder is on. And then you want to find your user, then go into app data, roaming, go into .minecraft, bin, and minecraft.jar right here and uh, that's just another way if you did not have the right click menu option now you want to delete your meta inf just press delete on your keyboard or press the delete button up here click ok and you want to have your mod loader folder up on the side and just make sure you click in it then click control a and all the files should be selected then drag them into the white space click yes and that is it for the minecraft.jar. Now, if you get a black screen or an error, you need to make sure that all the mods you are installing are updated for Minecraft 1.4.5, and also make sure that you follow the instructions that the mod developer has given you on the thread or uh, in a video, and make sure you get all the parts of it because sometimes you need more than just mod loader and the mod, you sometimes need another API. And also, Mod Loader is just an API for other mods. It does not actually add anything visually to the game. Um, I get a lot of questions about that. So if you don't see anything, you probably have done it right. Uh, just make sure that your mod works that you're installing with it. That is really about it. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below. A like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated if you found this helpful. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.